You mean to tell me they spent ten million dollars on this? <laughs> Oh, you know we're going to be talking about this. Stay tuned. What up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Red Ace Talks. Yes. The show that we talk about everything and anything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for the support. Whether it's from Red Ace Productions, Red Ace Talks. I see the subscriptions. I see the likes, I see the comments, I even see the dislikes. It comes with the territory. <laughs> oh man, we're so gonna have some fun with this video. This is the second video we're doing tonight. Probably the last one, because I gotta get to bed. I gotta go through my real J-O-B. But before I do though, you know what I'm about to ask? And that is, if you guys like the video so far, you have not done so, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, hit the little bell icon that we notified about future Reddit production videos. Now that the pandering is done, yeah, we're there, baby. We're there. I see the comments. Yeah, I see it. He is begging for a subscription so he can pay by YouTube. Now to monetize my videos. I just said I gotta go to bed for my J O B real job. <laughs> Honestly, if I did monetize my videos, I wouldn't get that much money because I don't get that many views. You guys can check my channel, you know, say it for yourself. Proof is in the pudding. Anyways, let's get into white dudes for Harris. <laughs> oh, my God. What a pathetic attempt from, the, you know, Kamala Harris uh, ad campaign, whatever. This is pathetic. So anyways, I want to give you guys the proof, though. I'm not lying about that $10 million. This is being reported by CNN. You know the news broadcast network that's been kissing Kamala Harris's ass. Same thing with CBS, MSNBC. You get it. Anyway, see the new ad. White dudes for Harris is spending $10 million to push in key states. Uh, we're going to watch this video in a second. I just want to give you an idea of the person who made the video, who's the head of the white dudes for Harris. Mr. Ross Morales Roqueto himself. Just let's get an idea of how this gentleman. Let's just take a brief look and then we're gonna get to the uh, real fun stuff. So let's just check this out. And I hear you, I, I hear that my, 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 my producer told me you've been working in politics a long time and that I uh, really for more than 20 years and that you said you hadn't seen anything like this. I've never, I haven't seen anything like this since 2008. Yep. When President Obama was elected and when he got elected, it was about a newness and a hope. <laughs> this time, it's about an exuberance and an excitement that you only get from hard-fought wins and hard-fought losses. Oh, you're going to get hard-fought losses, all right? <laughs> and that's why we're not going back. That's why we're, <laughs> we're not going back. You know, do, do you get an idea? Look at look at the ratio. This is from the actual site, White Dudes for Harris, the, their actual channel. 72 likes with 318 dislikes. I wonder what a comment says. I just wanted to read a comment. His wife's boyfriend is proud of him. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I could go on all day about this group because this is a pathetic group. But yo, listen, let's get into it, though. I know you guys are like, come on, let's get into the ad. Let's get into the ad. All right, listen to the ad. This is the ad they spent $10 million on. Keep in mind, this guy right here spent $10 million on this ad. So... Just give you an idea. Here we go. Hey, white dudes. So I think hey. we're all pretty sick of hearing how much we suck. Every time you go online, it's the same story. We're the problem. And yeah, some white dudes are. Trump and all his MAGA buddies are out there making it worse, shouting nonsense in their stupid red hats and acting like they speak for us when they don't. All they've ever done is screw us over. But if you're not on the MAGA train, where do you go? Isn't it just swapping out one crappy option for another? Then it hit me. This isn't about picking Here we teams. Go. It's about who's got a plan that's going to make life better for me and my family. <laughs> so I've been doing my own research and decided to check out Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. And before you jump down my throat, they're actually talking to guys like us. No oh, lectures, yeah? no BS. Just real solutions that, that, that is BS. freedom Bullshit. and help us take care of the people who matter. And honestly, I think Harrison Walls are the ones to make that happen. End of the day, you're your own man. Oh it's your call. God. But if anyone gives you crap about it, <laughs> tell them it's none of their damn business. That That's what, uh, oh, sorry. I gotta, there you go. That's the end. Just, just in case you think sure I'm... To 
just in case you think I'm, uh, you know, hiding anything. <laughs> that stupid ass hat. Oh man, this this is pathetic, pathetic. Uh, well, where, where do I start? Where do I start? Well, first off, let's start off with what he said about the 2008. I feel like this is like 2008 Obama all over again. That's wrong. That's wrong because 2008 Obama. Listen, I used to be on the left side. I used to, okay? So, hear me out. You know, I saw people were desperate for change because we dealt with George W. Bush, the wars and all that. And there's a lot of people that were anticipating on voting Democratic for change. This time, it's either people are trying to convince themselves to vote for a woman that has no policies but stories upon her own childhood life that they are trying so hard to convince you of that she has a policy or people just gave up they're not going to vote or they even like yours truly flipped flipped because Kamala Harris is part of the problem that we're dealing with she is the vice president right now currently in this administration that caused the inflation caused like the uh, the border the border is the way it is. We got bad people coming in, unvetted. You know, everybody is frustrated and angry, and the news is lying to you. They're like, "Oh, the inflation's going up, but everything is all right." Even though they don't know about the grocery prices, the gas prices. You know, you may say, "Oh, the gas prices are going down. Groceries still haven't gone down." No, no. Groceries, utilities, rent, nothing, nothing. Don't let these fools try to fool you. Don't. We did a video already about Kamala Harris, how much of a liar she was when she was attorney general. You know, when she put that poor mother in jail because her daughter had a disease that she had to stay in the hospital most of her time. Don't let these people fool you. White pe white dudes for Harris. Dudes. It's shocking the people that are a part of this too. You know, the Jet Bridges or uh, the, was that, that fat dude from Frozen? <laughs> you know, He's like, I cried when Trump won because I looked at my daughters and I realized I failed them. Fucking stupid. Come on. Come on. We gave Biden a chance. He failed. Kamala Harris was part of that. And now she wants to run? Saying that she's going to fix the problems that she caused? <laughs> the border? Was it border Caesar? The border Cesar. I'm about to say the border, the border Leisure. <laughs> Whatever fancy fucking title. She was in charge of the border and never went down there. Never went down there. Stop listening to these idiots. Especially those who spent $10 million on a PowerPoint. Like free stock footage. <laughs> Shit that people can make in their houses. <laughs> the boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh man, just don't be fooled about this. This is stupid. Don't be fooled. Honestly, do the facts. And by the way, I like the fact that the campaign didn't even show any of her, uh, you know, policies. Not one. I looked up Kamala Harris myself. What did you find? I found out that uh, she talks to white dudes like me. <laughs> yeah, when there's cameras around, otherwise she don't want to talk to you because <laughs> you might ask her about her policies, and she doesn't remember the same speech that she's been telling, you know, the uh, her rallies, and what is it, the spice rack people that she went there? Like I buy spices, and she the the, the people in that store where she bought Doritos. So she thought like. It was, it was like an exhibit from a museum. Like, oh my God, yes, Doritos. I'm an average, everyday American, but oh my God, Doritos. 
Oh, man. I can go on and on. What did you guys think, though? Honestly, if you guys stayed this long, I, don't, I rambled so long, but if you guys stayed this long, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> $10 million. Oh, man. Money that's not worth spent. Anyways, again, let me know what you down in the comments. Let me know what you think. I gotta get going. The past, the present, for the future. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Keep it real, guys. Stay safe. Stay tuned. And see you later.